Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project eMarketplace and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JDK I am using is the JDK 1.8 and MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting Java JSP with MySQL, I am using the MySQL J connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. This is a web application so for running this project I am using the Tomcat server and version i am using the tomcat version 7 but if your tomcat was an 8 and 9 then you can easily configure this project on tomcat version 8 and 9 too right so this is a web application so for front-end development i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also have used like for form validations and date calendar plugin integrations i have used the jquery plugins so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project in marketplace right so let's just start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project e marketplace right so let's start so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page and it's a major project which has customer login as well as admin login so this is a home page and if you want to see all of the products you can see all of the products you will be able to see all of the products this is a ladies clothing and according to the category the product will be filtered out you can see the products are getting filtered out according to the category right so if you want to see the details of the product just click on the products you will be able to see the details of the product and you can select the quantity and add it into the cart you can see this is the add cart right so if you want to continue shopping just click on the continue shopping and after that you can order some of the other uh, product too <coughs> sorry so you can see i have ordered two product right so if you want to delete the product just click on the delete the product from the cart just click on the delete button and that item will be deleted from the cart right so now i am going to add some of the products some of the more products like i want to buy this google right so so there are two things continue shopping and proceed to checkout once you click on the proceed to checkout it will ask your user id and password so the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and the password is test if you don't have the user id and passwords just click on the register new pass user and you will be able to register and after that you you will be able to log in with that you registered email id and password <clears throat> so once you click on the login it's asking for the shipping address means what is the shipping address you want to get the product you can enter any of the information right once you click on the proceed payment it will show you the simple sample uh, payment gateway page it's a dummy page there is nothing uh, communicating with the outer world right so no need of entering any type of correct information just enter any type of garbage information here right so this is a dummy payment gateway page cv number once you click on this, so total amount you are going to pay is five six two three once you click on the make payment you will get the order id so your order id is 18 and these are the items you have ordered right so you will be able to see all of the orders in your my order section you can see this is a my order section and this order id you have ordered today if you want to see the view items you can view the items from here right this is my account section from where you will be able to update your account details this is a contact us and this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database right even i am not sending a type of email and uh, sms from this page this is a logout the above menu is totally session driven means it's render according to the login level right if i log out then you can see the it currently it has very less option if i log out then you can see it's a more option but there is no my order there is no my account section right so as i told you earlier this is a major project which has admin login also right so click on the admin login and the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard and you will be able to add any number of records means products right so this is the add vendor from where you, you will be able to add the vendors right this is the ad system user from where you will be able to add the system users this is a report employee report all of the employee reports will be displayed here this is a vendor report all of the vendor reports will be displayed here right so there is one more thing so there are three types of user login right the first one is a admin second one is a vendor and third one is the customer right so this is a vendor report each and every vendor there will have their own products right so once you click on the view products you will be able to see all of the products which belongs to that vendor right so customer will be able to see the products and he will be able to buy the products vendor will be able to add the products vendor will be able to see all of the orders 
<coughs> and admin will be able to manage the employee and the vendors right so, so this is the employee reports and this is the vendor report this is a change password for the employee and after that uh, admin will be able to log in with his updated password and the logout now i am going to log in as a vendor <coughs> so click on the admin login and log in as a vendor and test <coughs> once you click on the vendor and the test you will be able to see add product means that product will belong to uh, that vendor which which vendor has added it right so this is the add product right from here uh, admin will be able to add the product sorry a vendor will be this is a product report all of the product which belongs to that vendor will be displayed here admin sorry vendor can edit and update the products this is a stock report all the products uh, will which has the stock will be displayed here right and this is our report right all the products uh, vendor products which a uh, customer has ordered will be displayed here admin can means vendor can edit the records and update the status of the <coughs> record right you can see the uh, status of the record has been updated right so this is the add product product report stock report and <coughs> order report this is change password from where vendor will be updated will be able to update his account password and the logout right from <coughs> once you log out then you will not be able to access any of the administrative menu right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project e marketplace and as i told you earlier there are three types of user login available in this project the first one is a customer customer will be able to register customer will be able to see the product details add the product into the cart and he will be able to uh, make the payment by some of the products so vendor will be able to log in and he will be able to add the products to his order history and he will be able to see his product history right and the admin admin will be able to add the vendors as well as the employee and he will be able to see the vendor report and the employee report so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project e marketplace and this project i have developed in java jsp and mysql and front end i am using the html css and javascript but if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.